Finally here, a lot of us then looking for quick and easy ways to transfer our summer home into a warm fall one. Joining us this morning is Zachary himself of Zachary Luke Designs to help us do just that. Now, I love what you were saying in the commercial break. It's finally time to embrace fall. Yes. We, uh, some of us were doing it beforehand when we shouldn't have the right. pumpkin spice and things, right? But <laughs> right. now it's official, so we can do this. Right, now we can do this, right. So how do you do that with your home with little touches that kind of do transition from the sort of maybe more bright, airy summer feel to kind of a warm cozy fall. Well, I brought some pillows for you today uh -huh. to kind of show it off. So, a couple examples over here that I have for you. Um, it's always good to do a neutral in your home, uh, just to balance patterns and, and whatnot on mm -hmm. colors. So, you can do, here's, I know purple, you know, a lot of the times is um, considered kind of a fall color, but if you do kind of the brighter lavenders and lilacs in the summer, you know, that's good to have. Um, and then over here is kind of one of more of this like lemongrass kind of citron color, mm -hmm. which is very springy, summery, mm -hmm. and of course blue, you know, the blues, especially with kind of a, a leafy pattern like this are kind of your summer decor and summer look. Okay. Um, now, if we're changing to fall, obviously when you think of fall, you think of your fall colors. So your reds, your oranges, your yellows, your burgundies, browns. Basically so, what the leaves turn, right? Kind of basically almost? what the leaves turn, yeah. yeah, exactly, are your fall colors. So now this is kind of pillow is a great example because it's double sided. <gasps> so when you want to go to oh, fall, you go with your charcoals and your darker purples. Sure. Still works with your neutral. Now we take these away. I'm gonna hand these to you. Kate. Sure, okay. So Happy people, to take them. And then you bring in your kind of your menswear pattern. So this has a really small hound's tooth to it. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, here's a burnt orange. Oh, I love that. And then um, this is a dark gray, like, herringbone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, bring these in, and that will kind of help with your fall decor, and you can, you can layer them and, you know. And throw pillows are <laughs> such a great way to do that because you're not buying a whole new couch. Obviously, who's going to do that? But maybe right. with, with these and then with a, with, a, with a blanket or things. I know we have some before and after pictures, too, of uh, spots that you have done that we can see kind of the difference here. Let's see the Moorhead in here first. This is... A picture that you designed. So this is the before. The before excuse this me, is yeah. the before. It was like this for 20 years. Okay. Um, and then the ceiling collapsed on the right half of the room. Uh -huh. So the owner had me come in and, and do redo the whole. <gasps> and this is the result oh, of it. Wow, very chic and just sort of updated, very, brightens things. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, I did all new furniture, kept the rug because it was this old, beautiful indo and rug. Mm -hmm. But um, that bench is actually one of my favorite pieces. Oh, yeah, which is a good lesson to keep, hang on to the pieces that really are wonderful and just sort of design around them, right? Right, yep, yeah, exactly. Want to keep. Yeah. Um, let's see the Montebello, too. Do we have the before for the Montebello in? Right, so these were clients that, that came to me and, and needed some help, as you can see. Um, you know, they were, they're, they're in their 60s, but they're still hip and they're great and mm -hmm. I love them. Um, and they just wanted to refresh their home. So we did their family room, sunroom, kitchen, um, and breakfast area. So here's the family room right here. So I did two recliners that are this slate leather blue. This oh, I love that five color, foot yeah. by five foot tufted ottoman. You know, the difference between the breakfast area mm -hmm. here. And then in the kitchen, we did quartzite and changed the whole look up and added an island instead of a peninsula. If you're going to do a room, if you want to start somewhere, because not everyone has the budget to go the whole house at the right. same time, is there what, what would you recommend starting with? Start What room mm -hmm. in particular? Mm -hmm. um, so I would say the family room is really good to start with. Because, because that's where we spend so much of our time. Right, exactly. And everything kind of fans out from there. Mm -hmm. So And usually with my clients, when they start with their family room, they go on to the other spaces because they realize, oh, gosh, we're way out of date. Like, right. I need to update everywhere else. Right. And where, I mean, I love this, too. And this is exactly where you would do this with mm -hmm. the throw pillows and things, not only updating a room, but also just sort of transitioning from season to season. Exactly. Uh, as we then head into uh, winter, Zachary, we're going to have to have you back because I assume that there are ways to transition from fall into winter as well. well. Absolutely. Hello. And, and winters, kind of Christmas, the holidays yes. are people's favorite time. Uh -huh. That's the time you're having family over and you're having a lot more guests than you are this time of year. Right. So you want to impress people at exactly. your home. Exactly. So oh, I love it. I have one more, if I can. Sure, we have, only, we have 10 seconds left. How okay. quickly can you Accessories talk? and art are another great way. Replace your accessories with fall accessories, and that's a great way Look to update you. your home. Look at you, and you've got it in time. Zachary <laughs> Luke Design, thank you for coming in. Thank Guys, you so we'll be much. back with more Good Day right after this.